Right, they wanna know what And you wanna know how And you wanna know why And you wanna know now Annie, come here. What happened? Oh, I had to break it, Annie, to see what was wrong. It's dead, see? Well, it mightn't have been till you broke it. Oh, they should have hatched yesterday. They'll all be like this one now. Looks as if it's been cooked. Well, maybe the incubator's too hot for them. But you put that thermometer in there so it couldn't get too hot. You said that the... Thermometer doesn't stop heat, Annie. It only measures it. Well, how hot is it supposed to be? What does it say? 38 degrees? That's right. That's what it should be. 36 to 38 degrees. Oh, raising chickens. It was a stupid idea. Oh, you're not going to give up, Peter. You can't. Not now. Well, I can't run the risk of raising another failed batch. Infinity Limited. They'll help. Infinity who? And what's Stumpy when he's at home? He's a beautiful little stumpy-tailed lizard. And he's sensitive, too. Each to his own. But why? Do you have to bring him here? Well, I figured this place needed some life. Life? You call that sleepy, scaly thing life? We've already got a goldfish and a piggyback plant. We haven't got the space to run a zoo. Yes, but animals inspire you. Inspiration. We need work. Shop bananas, eh? What's for afters? I like strawberries, too, when they're in season. If you ask me, what he needs is fresh air, sticks and dirt. It's not fair keeping lizards inside. Well, he's better off here than where he was. I found him in a pet shop in a cage with five kittens. They were playing with him as if he was a toy mouse or something. Infinity Limited. How much do we know about chickens? Well, depends on how much you want to know. In 1888, the South Australian Ostrich Company had 510 ostriches on a farm at Port Augusta. Ostriches are still found wild in parts of South Australia. Well, what do you know? Caught in the act, eh? So this is how you mind the business. You sit in my chair looking at magazines. Hey, I was reading that. It's an article about introduced species. You know, creatures brought into Australia from other countries. Vortex, did you know that as well as rabbits, foxes and pigs, there are ostriches running Ostrich, wild? Ostrich, mostrich. It's what's going on up there that interests me. Industrial espionage. Now, that's your job, Plankton. Vortex, if you mean sneaky spying, why don't you say so? Huh? I'm going, I'm going. So you think the incubator's the problem, Peter? Well, I wouldn't put any more eggs in it then till we've had it checked out thoroughly. What? Oh, no trouble at all. We'll be glad to come. What was the address again? OK, got that. We'll be there in about 45 minutes. Look out for what? Chooks all over the place. Well, with the price of eggs, it sounds like a marvellous sideline. OK, see you soon. Bye. And being cold-blooded, snakes, goners and lizards will not eat until they've raised their body temperature by lying in the sun. So that's why Stumpy won't eat his banana. Well, what's the story? That poor bloke seems to have cooked his chickens before they hatch. He sounded very upset and a bit clucky, if you know what I mean. No, I don't. It's funny how some people go overboard for their pets. I'm not trying to warm him. What are you looking for? Ah, found it. Thermometer. Coming? Oh. Well? Eggs. 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 Eggs and chickens. Or was it chickens and eggs? Well, will you get on with it, man? Whatever they're on, so we have to get there first. But they've gone already. Well, why didn't you say so before? Where have they gone? Oh, she didn't say. I think they're going into chickens as a sideline. Her exact words were, a marvellous sideline with the price of eggs today. Oh. Well, business must be as bad for them as it is for us. Chickens, eh? Well, what would those two kids know about raising chickens? 
No, oh, no, that sort of information is in the blood, you know. My old granddad used to run a little place up in the sticks all by himself. <laughs> oh, I can hear it now. The mystical gobbledygook of the turkey. <laughs> turkey eggs as big as your... Well, not as big as ostrich eggs, of course, but... Uh, but... Plankton. Plankton. I can feel the stirrings of a huge idea. Quick, grab your coat. But I've got my coat on, Vortex. Is this going to be another wild goose chase? Even bigger, Plankton. Something much, much bigger. How do the thermometers compare, Chris? 38 degrees, both. It's never varied more than one degree. You don't seem to have a thermostat in there to regulate the heat. Don't need one. The temperature in here stays pretty much the same. Any change would show up on the thermometers, wouldn't it? And I check them first and last thing every day. Where do you get the fertilised eggs? Uh, farm about half an hour away. I picked them up myself. What, and how long did they have to go? Well, the farmer assured me they had three days to hatching. Well, how can you be sure the eggs were OK? I mean, the chickens may have been dead even before you put them in uh, the egg. When I picked them up, I put them in this esky, along with a blanket and a hot water bottle. So I thought maybe it had overheated them. Then I knew that couldn't have happened. How come? Well, I cracked one of the eggs. And there was a complete small chicken side ready to hatch, feet and all. So the eggs must have been all right when I got them from the farm. Oh, well, I may as well turn off this incubator light now and save you some power. Hey, what if the light went out, say a power cut? How long could the eggs survive the cold? They can survive cold better than heat, apparently. The farm manager told me that after he'd laughed at my hot water bottle. It's like people, isn't it? We can withstand extremes of cold, but not heat. Hmm. Yep, it's weird. I've got a broody old hen out in the yard there now. She laid a clutch of eggs about three weeks ago. But she's been off and on them like a yo-yo. Uh, she wouldn't do that if it was harmful to them, would she, eh? Peter, can we have a few of her eggs? We can incubate them in the lab. Well, if they're three weeks old, they're just about due to hatch, aren't they? That's right. Takes about 21 days. I don't see how this is going to help us, Rick. Conditions in our lab will be quite different. I know that, Chris, but I feel we need to understand the hatching process better. At least we can monitor the conditions more accurately. Well, it's worth a try. I agree. If you can be bothered with the babysitting. Oh, you can have them back, Peter, as soon as they're at the baby stage. Well, they start eating pretty soon. You better take some of this. Chick bits. Ready mixed. Bran, oats, eggs. Properly balanced. And don't forget they need water. Plenty of it. Let's go get the eggs. I still can't see how this is going to make a rich and famous vortex. I've explained it a dozen times. How many eggs does it take to make a good sponge cake? Seven. Six. Six messy eggs to crack. And how many eggs to make an omelette for a family of 12? At least 12. Now, how many hen's eggs are there in one ostrich egg? Probably three dozen. The saving in time and frustration is obvious. Instead of carrying home a carton of... Twelve hen's eggs, all cracked and runny. Take home one fat great ostrich egg, all cracked and runny. <laughs> Listen to this. The largest living birds, ostriches, can weigh up to 160 kilograms. At nesting time, the male bird can have an extremely bad temper and will attack by kicking. Mm. I don't feel so well, Vortex. Perhaps I'd better go back to the car. Ah, and ah, here it is! The female lays a clutch of 10 to 12 eggs in a nest she scoops out of the ground. 10 to 12 eggs at a time, Plankton. Do you realise how many hen's eggs that equals? The birds are miles away. Now, come on, quickly. Here, I'll help you over. Good lad, that's the spirit. Now, come on, run, run, run. There's nobody around. <laughs> Give them to me. Hey, Rick, it says here the ideal temperature is between 37 and 38 degrees and that 39.5 degrees could be fatal. That's not much leeway, is it? But that's why the incubator has a thermostat, to regulate the heat and keep it constant. Let's load the eggs. Here, be 
careful with them. There you go. What's the water for? So the air doesn't dry out. Now, place the lid. Thermometer in place. There. Hmm. Looks like we're going to be in for a long exit. What about some lunch? Good idea. Uh, since you chopped up all the banana for that lizard, I suppose one of us will have to go shopping. Stumpy, I'd forgotten all about him. Hey, he's awake. Hey, Crystal, look, he's eating his banana now. Looks like lunch for three, then. Um, Vortex. Huh? Uh, help. That is not going to work, Plankton. It's obvious. Now, listen. I intend to design a proper incubator. But in the meantime, these eggs have to be kept warm, right? So. Number one. Yeah. Hey, what's going on, Vortex? Number two. Now, put your arms over them, that's so I don't wriggle and upsets them. If you think I'm going to sit here while a pair of kicking baby ostriches hatch... I wish you'd keep your arms still. It's the heat they need, all right? The body heat. Well, I'm freezing. A fat lot of body heat I've got. Mm. If I am going to sit here like a stuffed bird, I may as well read. Can I have my magazine? Here. Here you can read this. Oh, no, not again. I'm tired of hearing about ostriches. If you're going to be a partner in Vought Eggs Enterprises, you'll need to know all about them. Now, page four, nesting and breeding. I'll test you in an hour. What a difference a bit of sun makes. Hey, you know, I don't think this piggyback plant likes direct heat. It droops every time the sun gets around to this side of the roof. Hey. Hey, what's the panic? I've just checked it. The sun. Sunlight. Well, haven't you noticed the room's flooded with it? What if the thermostat doesn't adjust to the extra heat? Well, then the eggs would get hotter. Crystal, that's it. That's it? What's it? Wattle Valley Children's Home? Is Peter there, please? Oh, I see. Look, can you get him to ring Infinity Limited as soon as possible? That's right. Thanks a lot. Bye-bye. What was all that about? Just exactly what you said. Extra heat. The window on Peter's shed faces north, right? Now, Peter's incubator doesn't have a thermostat, so the direct sunlight would cause the eggs to get hotter without him knowing. But wouldn't that show up on the thermometer? Ah, but do you remember where Peter put the thermometer in his incubator? down underneath the straw and the eggs. So if it was 38 degrees down there, the eggs were probably hotter. Why? Because heat rises. Oh, and with the direct sunlight, the eggs temperature could have been raised at least for one and a half degrees. Right. Hey, Rick, look, something's happening. There's a crack in one egg and a funny little beak showing. Can we lift the lid? Don't know. I think we can risk it. I'll have to have some air. you lot moving? Heat, he said. Well, that's what you've got.
getting a little bit crowded in there. Let's see how you enjoy the brooder. The incubator's not the only place that's crowded. Look who's inside. Oh, Stumpy. Isn't he clever? He's found the warmth. Oh, well, he may as well stay in there if the chickies don't mind. What time did Peter say he'd be here? Oh, about seven. And he's got to have tea according to Matron first. Oh, talking of tea, I could do with some. How about you? Oh, you read my mind. Do you want to fix up some of that tucker for the chicks while I make it? Believing, ladies and gentlemen, so don't be shy. Come up close. Hey, yes, it's the breakfast time revolution, folks. And no more messing about with fiddly little chook eggs. Now it's one crack and you caught it. Ostrich eggs are easier to digest, twice as nourishing, and 20 times as tasty as hen's eggs. Why? Prove it for yourself. Special introductory offer, two for the price of one and a half. And there's extra fun for the kiddies also. Wear half an ostrich egg shell to the footy and just paint it in your club colours. Uh, uh, uh. What's that smell? Plankton, wake up. Wake up, Plankton. Uh. Hey, you've got a lot of space out your way. Why don't you take him home with you? Sure, we can take him. Well, how did the temperatures check out, Peter? Well, I tried the thermometer at both levels in the incubator, as you suggested, and it was a degree or two warmer up where the eggs were. I bet it was even warmer when the sun was shining on the eggs. Well, I've already drawn up plans for the new incubator, and this time I'll include a thermostat. And so we'll be putting a blind on that shed window, won't we, Peter? Mm -hmm. I haven't found an ostrich in mine. Not yet. For you, Vortex? No, luckily for you, Plankton, these eggs were never fertilised. I only meant to keep them warm, honest. <sighs> Just at a guess, I'd say this egg had been lying in a paddock for six months. Well, it is an acquired taste, but with the uh, right garnishings, I see that a when Vortex will have the market cornered in breakfast foods. I found oh. something interesting in here while you were asleep. Female ostrich lays a clutch of between 10 and 12 eggs once a year. One dozen eggs, Vortex. We'll need a terrible lot of birds at that rate. Once a year? Give me a look at that book. There's some sort of misprint. Well, you want to know what? And you want to know how? 